Meghan and Prince Harry will absolutely be counted among the guests invited by the Queen to join her to celebrate her 70th year on the throne, according to insiders. One source told Page Six, of course they're invited, it's a family event. A second insider noted so much can happen in a year, adding the royal family will surely be eager to meet Meghan and Harry's baby girl and see once again Archie Harrison. Claims Meghan and Harry are expected to be invited back to the UK for the official celebrations come after an insider said the historic Platinum Jubilee was causing a dilemma for palace aides tasked with its organisation. They claim to the sun. Harry wants to be there. It is already causing a headache and is going to be very awkward. Where will they be positioned if they turn up? What events can they attend? Will we put them on the Buckingham Palace balcony for the flypast? They added, this is a celebration for the Queen's 70 years of service to the nation and should not be overshadowed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex officially stepped down as senior royals at the end of March 2020. As non-working members of the royal family, they can no longer carry out royal duties and visits. However, much like other royals with their own jobs and careers unrelated to the crown such as Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice, they can attend family events such as Trooping the Colour. In early 2020, before the coronavirus pandemic struck, it was rumoured the Sussexes were expected to return to the UK to mark the Queen's official birthday. Buckingham Palace announced earlier this week its plans to mark the first ever British Platinum Jubilee in 2022. The celebrations will spread across a four-day long bank holiday weekend starting on June 2nd and ending on June 5th. They will be opened by the Trooping the Colour Parade, set to feature more than 1,400 parading soldiers, 200 horses and 400 musicians. This will be the first Trooping the Colour celebrated in its traditional form since 2019 due to the COVID-19 crisis. Other poignant events featuring the participation of the royals include a service of thanksgiving for the Queen's reign, to be held at St Paul's Cathedral in London. The royals will also join the Queen at the Derby at Epsom Downs, celebrating her love for horse racing. Most notably, Buckingham Palace will host a concert on June 4. This event will aim at bringing together some of the world's biggest entertainment stars to celebrate the most significant and joyous moments from the Queen's seven-decade reign. Ahead of next year's celebrations galore, Buckingham Palace is completing preparations for a stripped-down Trooping the Colour Parade. For the second year in a row, the Queen will mark her official birthday without her extended family and the members of the public. Rather than travelling to central London, she will remain in Windsor and watch a streamlined ceremony taking place in the quadrangle at her castle. However, unlike last year, she won't watch the show just in the company of her aides, but will be accompanied by her cousin Edward, Duke of Kent.